structure of the Japanese weapons have two weak points, side of the blade on the part. So obviously the strongest part is the edge. So if you need to block, you must use the edge. Flat part, back, you have more chance to break your sword. No? So you know, sometimes you know, people describing us will be damaged the edge, so don't use the edge to block, but uh, that's uh, nonsense. No? If you know the sword, using flat part, back, you have more chance to break your sword, so it must be here. And the blade dividing three sections. One third in the beginning called killing section, no, for attack, killing. Middle part for the control of the motion, no, parry motion. Last part is defensive, so you block. No? So those structure, this you have to know that you use weapon. No? Not just to do the fancy exercise, no? you have to know this. No? So those really basic, you have to know the flat part, back is a, uh, avoid not use. No? The edge is obviously strong part. The portion of the blade, fast one third for the killing, middle control, the parrying, etc. Broking, last part, defense part. No, that's how the way the sword is made. So, so better to know the, the, uh, how the structure in the weapon. No? The other important thing by grip, really you can spend many, many years to study the grip. The grip is important. So if you don't have good connection with your hand to weapon, obviously you cannot use weapon. And there are some of the classic schools, they have special gloves. So if you use that glove, your hand contour at a certain position. So that's where they teach you, know? so hand always particular way there. No? So start it. so your palm is right against no? the hands uh, not squeeze but tightly cramp onto the weapon, no? don't lose them. No? So that you have to start it. And the wrist never to break. Always must rock. So not to <coughs> If someone swing like this, it's no good. Huh? So have to, wrist must always rock and not to use like this. No? And those things very strictly teach you or watch them some of the most classic way to use the soul. Huh? So uh, kendo is okay, shinai, yeah, competition. So, <laughs> The my is also different. The competition my is generally much closer. The competition meaning the game, so fast you can reach the partner's importance. So no way points down, my is much closer. That's where you can reach fast, because that's the game. But the, then training of kata form, fixed one, normally contact. So that's where distance, direction, fixed. So for studying, it's good. A real situation shouldn't be braided, it's not contact. Hmm? So you either have a choice, get cross or which side it go, but uh, not start with a contact, hmm? it takes the distance. Hmm? This is roughly you know, seven tandok dosa you can do yourself, uh, not necessarily in a dojo. The sotai dosa, obviously, you need a partner, so. So the consistent to teaching, so a teacher you have to know the exactly what to look for and how to teach it. Right? So, but once you start thinking as the, in terms of technique, attack, defense, you lose the notion of a system. Right? So it's purely your teaching. Right?